Hey guys, it's Musa from Aussie Four Wheelers and today what we're going to do is change a wheel speed sensor on the front passenger side or actually front left side because in Australia the steering wheel is on the other side. Um, what happened was one day I sat in the car, turned the car on and a code came up, uh, engine light came on and then traction control lights came on so the traction control stopped but before that I felt the ABS locking a couple of times and then um, plugged my scan tool in and um, picked up a few ABS related codes and one of them or two of them pointed to the left front wheel speed sensor. So there you go, it threw this code, it threw that code, steering angle sensor probably related as well and everything else related to it. There you go. Yes, so since I'm still crippled and I can't do the work myself, I've got my good friend Jason here to come around and give me a hand and replace this because he also owns one of these WH Grand Cherokees. WKs. Or WK. That confuses <laughs> the people. The, yeah, let's not confuse <laughs> the American people. So he's going to come here. He knows exactly what to do. We need to jack it up, take the wheel off, and basically caliper. Uh, the front disc to access the wheel speed sensor, undo it, unclip it, or well, actually it's cable tied because I've got a super lift, and then unclip it from the wiring loom, put the new one in, and then in reverse order put it all back together. And Jason's already done that a numerous number of times on his car because he kept having similar issues, and we got a lot of these sensors in stock, front and re, so in the future when it happens, bang, here you go. We've got a sensor, come let's do it straight away and get it fixed. There. So that tab doesn't work. We'll pull these clips out because the new ones already come with new clips. Pull that one out already. That's it, clicked. Now push that into the hole there. There you go. You go underneath the tie rod, through this hole, just before you plug it in, make sure it's all nice twisted, like twisted properly, instead of being all coiled up, then you're going to have to undo it if you want to do it nicely. And I'll plug that one in there. Maybe pliers to push it down easier. Yeah. Little Allen key bolt. Come on. That's it. That's nice and tight. Now, that's nice around there. Put this one in here. And the rest will be slack. I'll just tie that one there with a cable tie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just roll it in. Use the pick tool if you have to. Oh, All good. Okay, the disc is on. Put the spacer on. This time to tighten it. It's bottom. And uh, top 
one. Just double check again. Okay. Double check the bottom one. Okay. That's it. That's it. All right. Bottom one first. Push it down and see it holds itself while we do the other ones. All hand tight, sort of thing. That's it, just got to clear the cupboards now, have a look. Alright, code's cleared. There, just started the car. And... Codes are cleared. Alright, let's go for a spin. Usually at the first corner here, the code would trip. Alright, that's looking good. So I usually would feel the ABS starting to kick in and then the code comes on. So it's all clear now. All going good. Thank you very much, Jason, for coming around and giving me a hand no worries man anytime at all not a problem